In this video, we'll show you how to put a map on your Garmin Phoenix or Tactics. Now, officially, maps are not supported, but you can put a small area of maps onto your Phoenix so that you can navigate with. The internal memory is about 20 megabytes, so the amount of maps you can put on a Phoenix or Tactics is actually very low. So let's flip over to the computer and show you the steps. Now the easiest way is go to this following website. They've taken open street maps and applied a very simple lightweight theme to it. So we're just going to go to this website here, go to our country, which is in this case Canada. We're going to download the file to our computer and decompress it. So once we open up the archive, we see that we have the GMAP file. So what we're going to do here is we're going to install Garmin Map Manager that will allow us to install this map to our base camp. So we're just going to let this run for a minute or two. Now once we've done installing the map, we can go into base camp and verify that the map has been installed by going under our maps and we see it there. Now at this point we need to actually transfer tiles from this map to our Phoenix. So what we can do now is flip over to a, another application free from Garmin. It's called Map Install. And at this point we're going to plug in our Phoenix to our USB. So at this point under Map Install we should see the Phoenix as one of our devices. We're going to click on Continue. And we're going to click on Advanced Partial Install because we just don't have the room to put the entire maps on here. From here we're going to select our Phoenix Canada OSM map that we just downloaded and we're going to just do a narrow search here to get to our region here. We're just going to zoom out until we can see the tiles. You can see that, the little borders here. And we're just going to select three tiles. Remember we got 20 megs and if you're loading up waypoints and tracks and all the other stuff you want to put on the Phoenix, you don't really have a lot of room for maps. So we're just going to keep it around the 5 megabyte area. And we're going to click on Send Maps. Confirm that we're going to create a new uh, image file. And we'll let this run. Might take a couple minutes depending on the size. Once done, we can open up our Garmin drive. This is our Phoenix. Once we're plugged in via USB, we can see the internal storage. Open up the Garmin folder and we should see the OSM Phoenix Canada dot image file. And what we're going to do is simply rename that. We're going to rename that GMAP SUP for a supplement map. And we just renamed it. And we're just going to disconnect or eject our Phoenix from our computer and we're going to reboot the watch. And now we're going to start our GPS so that we can get to our map page and scroll over to the map page and there you go. Low-end light maps from OSM or OpenStreetMap. That's how you do it on the Phoenix. Phoenix, first thing we need to do is plug in the charger and plug it into the USB port. Now the second step is to do this on the computer so let's flip over and take a look. By using the latest version of Garmin Basecamp, we can see